Hello and welcome. Today I'll be going over my picks for the top 10 best base locations for PvE castles in V Rising. I won't be listing them in any particular order, but I do want to quickly mention that this list is mostly focused on the scenic views or visual appeal of the plot when it comes to castle building. Alright, now let's get started. The first plot on our list is located in Southeast Farbane Woods. It's one of the very first plots you come across if you start the game on the eastern part of the map. I picked this plot for this list because it's surrounded by water on the north, south, and east of the plot. From the east side, you also get a nice mountain view. The northern side of the plot is connected to the plot above through a cute little stone bridge that allows a small river to pass through. The river is pretty still and doesn't move much, but is decorated with lily pads and other plant life. There's also also a nice pond in the southwestern part of the plot with similar characteristics. With only one other possible neighbor to the north over the bridge, this plot is very quiet and scenic, creating the perfect conditions for castle building. I've actually built my Church of Luminance castle on this plot, so I'm going to link it here for anyone interested in checking that out. The second plot on our list is located in southwest Farbane Woods. It's one of my favorite plots in the entire game, having not one, but two waterfalls that sit snugly alongside the western part of it. It's also connected to a small natural log bridge which allows you to cross the water and appreciate the scenic view of the cliff. To the south, you get a nice view of the graveyard, so you can reminisce over your humble beginnings as you progress through the game. The eastern side of the plot also has a nice body of water with another natural path that allows you to cross it. Another great advantage to this plot is that the two entrances are very close to each other, which allow for some creative flexibility when making a first impression to visitors, since you can connect the two entrances easily. Overall, this plot is absolutely gorgeous, and with it not having any closely connected neighboring plots, it is a very quiet and scenic plot to build on. I have actually built my Vampire's Kiss Valentine's Day castle on the plot during early access, so I'm going to link that here for your viewing pleasure. The third plot on our list is located in Northeast Farbane Woods and neighbors the Fishing Lake. This is a particularly nice location because it can only be entered and exited by crossing a bridge. On the west side of the plot, there's a long straight stone bridge which connects you to a detached neighboring plot. The southwest part of the plot features a waterfall that is connected to a river that comes from the Fishing Lake. The southern part of the plot doesn't reach all the way to the edge of the smaller arch bridge, but it does have a large permanent tree and collection of boulders that you might want to build around. There's also a natural bridge behind those boulders which allow you to cross the river. On the eastern side of the plot, there's an interesting rock formation which you can use to create elements of storytelling, maybe even giving the impression that you entered the lake from here to fish. Overall, this is a very cozy, quiet, and unique plot. Even though I haven't built here yet, I would like to do so eventually. The fourth plot on our list is the northernmost plot in the Hollowed Mountains. This plot has three entrances, which can give you the perfect opportunity to build an impressive, tall, and compact castle if you really wanted to. You also get to occasionally say hello to your favorite neighborhood, Mountain Terror. Jokes aside, having three staircase entrances is great for builders who like to build beautiful outside entrances to their castle. So out of all of the hollowed mountain plots, this is probably my favorite. The fifth plot on our list is located in South Dunley Farmlands. This plot is the first on the list that has an immediate next door neighbor. There's a nice body of water on the northern part of the plot with its own mini waterfall on the northwest part of it. There's a bridge that allows you to cross the river and it also serves as the main entrance. There's also a second entrance on the west side of the plot, but it is placed in a way that would make for the perfect secret entrance or exit. The southern part of the plot is the edge of a cliff that leads to a nice view in the distance. Overall, it's it's a nice looking plot, especially for builders who like to work on the front of their castle. The sixth plot on our list is located in the heart of Dunley Farmlands. The northern and western parts of the plot are followed by a road that is frequented by militia, which adds a little bit of extra life to the area. The eastern and southern parts of the plot are lined by a body of water that is really cool to look at. You can also get a view of the farms from several directions. One of the coolest things about this plot is that it spawns scarecrows. So if you're interested in building something with a farm area of your own, this might be the plot for you. 
The seventh plot on our list is one of the most unique in the entire game. It is located in the southeastern part of Silverlight and has no immediate neighbors. The western part of the plot is probably the most interesting, featuring two waterfalls and a bridge. The rest of the plot sits on the edge of a cliff from which you can see other waterfalls and some plots in the distant Dunley farmlands. The most unique part of this plot is that its one and only entrance is through the bridge and it is the only plot in the game with two elevated sections. The layout of this castle is pretty big, so it would make a good challenge for anyone looking to make a massive castle. I'm currently working on building my main castle on this plot, and I can't wait to finish it. The eighth plot on our list is located on the northwestern part of Silverlight Hills. This castle is very secluded, with no immediate neighbors or points of interest nearby. The plot is only accessible by crossing one of three bridges. Two of those bridges are made with planks, while one is a small arched stone bridge. Water lines all three pathways to the plot but the plot itself isn't placed in a way that is right on the edge of the water. There is, however, a single tile on the eastern part that sits snugly inside the water's edge. This one tile could make for some creative uses, especially if you want to enjoy nature in isolation. The northern and western part of this plot face vast mountains in the distance, providing a nice view. Overall, this is another quiet, peaceful, isolated plot that has a lot of potential, especially since it has two entrances on its elevated half. The ninth plot on our list is located in the heart of Gloomrot South. From the western side of the plot, you get a nice view of Rustlock Village as well as the Pools of Rebirth. There's a lot of action that takes place around this plot with constant battles between humans and mutants, so there's some free entertainment to be had here. Another interesting part of this plot is that it has two wide staircase entrances that are facing the same road. It's an interesting plot for sure, and with no immediate neighbors to worry about and the occasional flash of lightning in the distance, this plot is just a good location overall. The tenth and final plot on this list is located in the Cursed Forest. I chose this plot because it's the only plot that occasionally gets a visit from your friendly neighborhood gore crusher. There's a lot of wildlife that travels through the plot, so this would be a good spot for anyone who likes to watch their servants destroy stuff or even fight gore crusher himself. The northern part of the plot is surrounded by swampland, giving you the chance to build an extra spooky castle. Overall, I think the plot is my favorite of the ones in the Cursed Forest, since there's a lot of activity happening around it and and because there isn't any specified entrance to the plot, you can orient the castle in any direction and it will still look great. So, what did you guys think of this list? Were there any that you agreed on? Were there any that I missed that you would have added? Are there any that you've already built on? Let me know what your favorite plot is in the comments below. If you're interested in checking out some of my own castles, I'll be leaving a link to my playlist at the end of this video. For those of you who don't know, my name is Shiloh Q. I'm a Shiloh's Quintly Reaper and Guide to the Underworld. I stream three times a week on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube, and you can also find me on Twitter and TikTok. Feel free to stop by and say hello while I'm live. I'll see you there, and as always, Shallow out.